Hey guys, so Marvel has released a first look at Avengers Infinity War and I'm gonna watch it right now. Before creation itself, there were six singularities. Forged into infinity stones. Still missing one, two, one. This is our first day. Here we are in Pinewood in Atlanta, and it's it's actually pretty unbelievable. Day one of what promises to be a year of fun-filled lensing. I remember actually going to see the first Avengers with one of my best mates from home, and I'd never have dreamed that I'd ever be in one of these movies, let alone playing Spider-Man. I feel like I'm on top of the world because this is just mind-blowing. So awesome. What we always try to do at Marvel Studios is we're building the cinematic universe, is look at the big picture, how can things relate across movies and across years. Avengers Infinity War is the culmination of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe as started in May of 2008. I have no Spider-Man idea. One. And it really is an so unprecedented culmination characters. of a series of films interlinked together, which at the time had never been done before. And for us, the important thing is making it all come together. We know they're going to face Thanos. We've been setting that up since Avengers 1. How do you do that in a way that is unexpected, that hits the Avengers against somebody who is more powerful than anyone they face, and yet make them completely unprepared to face them? Well, tear them apart, which is why we did Civil War before Infinity War. As we were conceiving and, and executing Civil War, the end of that movie was very much a setup for what these movies would be. We always had the sense of that. Tony is now talking to Steve. The Avengers are basically a name with nobody in it. The world is vulnerable. Tony senses this greater threat approaching, and so he is doing everything in his power to keep the Earth safe. Thanos shows us why he's the biggest, the best, the baddest villain that we've ever had, and the most frightening villain that the Avengers have ever faced. The most exciting part is the incredible roster of well-developed characters, and it's going to create a really combustible, exciting, massive-scale adventure. You know that we're onto something within the studio when we hit upon an idea or we see a piece of concept art, and all of us in the room go, this is cool. And in Avengers Infinity War, the Avengers will meet the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes! Because of what Marvel is, because of what they have done over the last 10 years, these next two Avengers films will be an event like no one has ever seen on film before. so excited it looks so good oh i have no idea how they're gonna do it all though it's insane oh man i would i'd give more impressions on it but um if you really want to hear what i have to think about um infinity war um i was on the reactors lead podcast about a week ago um with my good friend chainsaw reacts and we talked about um ruby volume 4 guardians of the galaxy volume 2 and Infinity War. And I gave like my whole gamut of emotions and impressions on that podcast. So I will put that link in the description. Um, and you should check that out and hear what I have to say because wow, did we have a lot to say on that topic. Um, but I'm so excited for um, these movies and it's, it's just amazing. Um, I don't want to be that person, but Marvel rocks and DC sucks. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get so much hate. Not that I don't like DC. I do like some DC stuff, but all in all, Marvel. Rock on.
But thank you guys for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!